Welcome to Naughty Lights Over Arkham. I'm JP and we are continuing our playthrough with Calvin Wright through the Circle Undone campaign. Last time uh, we barely managed to escape the scenario at Death's doorstep and Calvin got one mental trauma in the process but luckily was able to get out without getting killed. We also got new enemies, so we are enemies of the Twilight Lodge. And after the charity gala, uh, Calvin went to the historical society to research more into the strange happenings in Arkham and found out that there's a witch house that could have answers to the questions that have arisen. Uh, so this time we will be playing The Secret Name, where we go to the abandoned witch house in French Hill and try to find some answers there. So let's quickly look what changes we did to the deck. Uh, we only got one experience from the last scenario. Uh, I removed one baseball bat and added one sharp vision to the deck. Other than that, the deck is quite the same, and nothing much more to talk about that one. So, let's get into the scenario. We start at the Moldy Halls. There's one clue there and a Shroud of War. A haunted ability lose three resources, so we better not have uh, any resources when we're trying to get that clue. We need three clues to advance. And also the Walter Gilman's room is locked. Uh, we can't move there unless we spend one clue as a group. So we need four clues to advance because we need to be in the Walter Gilman's room to advance the scenario. So let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I have pre-shuffled deck, so let's draw our opening hand. Uh, we get sharp vision, five of pentacles, yatol, and two hiding spots. I think I will uh, mulligan the hiding spots, so we get until the end of time and letter code. So we shuffle the hiding spots back into the deck. There aren't that many enemies that we can't deal with at the start of the scenario, so I don't think hiding spot is that useful at the start. It may be better later when the swarm of rats get a lot of more health. Now they only are plus one health at the start of the scenario. There's also a triggered ability after you defeat Brown Jenkin or not Hub, gain one clue from the token bank. And the Doom Threshold is 4 at the start. So we can also get some clues by defeating Brown Jenkin at the start. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles is in play because it was in our starting hand. I think I will play Yattle. It costs three resources. And I'll play until end of time also. So that's two actions. I won't be investigating this location yet because the shroud is too high. I'll move to the decrypt door at the bottom. It's Frank Elwood's room, uh, Haunted. You must either place one of your clues on Frank Elwood's room or place one room on the current agenda. So this is a good one to get at the start, probably. And I think we'll try to investigate this with sharp vision and help of Yotol. So next turn, so 
it's also a lower shroud, it's only shroud of 3. And that is our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a lucky. Uh, that's a great card for getting the clue off of here or from the multi holes and one resource. So we have two resources left. And that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add one Doom to the agenda. And the first encounter card is. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's. Of course it is. Brown Jenkin right at the start. So, uh, Brown Jenkin is aloof, hunter. Each ready creature enemy gets plus two fight. Uh, forced when the enemy phase ends, if Brown Jenkin is ready, each investigator at his location discards his or her hand, then draws that many cards. So, well, that is uh, annoying to see from the start. So, we could. Uh, try to defeat him, but at the moment we don't have any weapons. Yeah, well, let's just try to get this clue off of the Frank Elwood's room. So I'll commit Sharp Vision to the test. And because I'm doing a basic investigation, it gains plus two knowledge symbols, so I'm investigating one uh, 4 versus 3, and I have the lucky in hand, so if I don't succeed, I can always use the lucky. It's a uh, elder thing, uh, minus 3 if you fail, resolve the hunter keyword of each enemy in play. So I will use the lucky, because I'm one ahead, I play lucky, and we are even, so we managed to get the clue from the location. And then we will just move twice, and I'll go to this side. So it's a three shroud location. It's the Joe Masurevich room. One clue there. Mm. Action search your deck for a blessed or item asset and add it to your hand group limit once per game so I will definitely search for a weapon if I don't draw one during the upkeep so that is my turn uh, enemy face brown Jenkin hunts to the moldy holes and upkeep we draw one card that is the hiding spot and one resource okay so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. And the encounter card is Terror in the Night. I don't have anything to commit it, so I'm testing 1 versus 4. I'm hoping I get a 0. Uh, actually, I need a plus 1 or the. Actually, only the plus 1 helps here, so I don't get the, so it's a minus two, so it searches, goes into play, you get a new card, and it's the evil past, revelation put evil past into play in your threat area, if there's no copy of it in your threat area, when the encounter deck runs out of cards, take two horror and test will power three, if you see this card evil past, so does nothing basically right now. First action. I will use the action at the room to search for an item. So I search for the whole deck. I could take baseball bat, but I think a fire axe is more useful because we're a bit low on resources. We could Try to kill Brown Jenkins next, next turn. Uh, we play the Fire Axe. And last action, I'll try to investigate. So I will 
exhaust the other. I'll get that from there. And the haunted is actually useful to us. We can take some horror to get our uh, knowledge and will up. If we fail, so I'm uh, testing two versus three. It's a zero, so I'll take one horror. And I don't really care about these cards, so when Brown Jenkins comes here at the enemy phase, at the end of the enemy phase, we discard our hand and draw equal number. Cards, we draw two, we get a word of protection and Jerry's keepsake. Okay, so that's that's fine. And then we draw one card and we gain one resource. And we draw a winging it, so that's helpful also. Okay, that is the turn, and let's go to the next turn. We are three doom of four. And the encounter card is Disquieting Dreams. Test willpower 5. If you fail, put Disquieting Dreams in play in your threat area. At the end of the turn, discard the top card of the encounter deck. When the encounter deck runs out of cards, discard Disquieting Dreams and reveal the top 10 cards of your deck. Draw each weakness revealed. Okay. I think I. Wheel of Ward of Protection, that's just so that I get some more uh, knowledge. So I Wheel of Ward of Protection, that didn't happen. Okay, and now I need to fight Brown Jenkin. So Brown Jenkin has uh, two health and fight of three. Because he's a creature. So I think I'll gain a resource. I'll engage. And I will use the fire axe and spend two from the fire axe to hit. So I'm hitting four versus three. Hopefully I can hit this. So we get a minus one, so we just hit it. And because we have no resources, we do two damage. So Brown Jenkin is defeated. And we get one clue from the token bank. That's great. And that is our, our whole turn. Uh, no enemy pace, we go to upkeep. We draw a run for your life. And we gain one resource. Okay. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay. Uh, we advance the agenda. If Brown Jenkin is not in is in place, the encounter deck is part of swarm of rats. Uh, if Brown Jenkins is not in play, so the counter deck and discard card for him and spawn it in the lead investigator's location. So we just got rid of this guy. Well, I think we can try to kill him again, but now he has extra health. And additionally, if there are three, or oh, yeah, well, there's only one, so we can ignore that. So now each non-weakness enemy gets plus 2 health. And again, after I defeat Brown Jenkin on a hub, I gain a clue from the token bank. But <clears throat> I think I will uh, investigate. I'll play winging it. So I am investigating. Is here so I don't forget. So I'm invest investigating um, three versus two. It's a zero, so we get this clue. And next action, and action after that, I'll move to the, the creep door. 
caused after you reveal land lost quarters. Search and encounter deck and discard pile for a swarm of rats and spawn it in moldy halls. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we get a swarm of rats. That doesn't really bother us. Now we can get some. Lose some health and get our combat and agility up. Okay, so the swarm of rats engages us. Enemy base. Uh, Brown Jenkin hunts here. Swarm of rats hits us. We take the damage and upkeep. We draw one card, we get another Yotal. And we gain one resource. Well, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, uh, I think I forgot to actually... Did I draw the... <laughs> now I can't remember, did I draw the... So we advanced, yeah, I, I didn't draw any. Well, we get the terror in the night, so we would have gotten something else, but I already shuffled the deck, so let's backtrack a bit. So I'm testing uh, four versus uh, three versus four. I get a uh, minus one. So it just goes here, but it doesn't. Okay, so a bit of backtracking there, but sorry about that. And now we go to the next turn. Oh yeah, we need to add a clue here also. Okay, uh, we add one doom to the agenda. Now the agenda has a threshold of six. We draw an encounter card. Okay, so we get the disquiet in dreams. Now there's nothing we can do about that. So. I will investigate as my first action and I'll actually use the winging it from my discard and I'll take one attack of opportunity so I'm testing three versus one oh the haunted here is the uh, we get more rats, hopefully we don't fail. So we get a minus one, we pass the test and get one clue. Now we have all the clues we need and I think I will try to hit the rats. So I'm uh, hitting two versus one, minus three. So we resolve our hunter keepers, so round jerky comes here. Last action. I think we'll just move. So I take one more damage. And enemy face, I'll take one more damage. This is just because I need to have a good fight skill later. And yeah, brown jerky comes after us. We are really sorry to lose these cards. But I will uh, decide to put the run for your life at the bottom, so I can use uh, at the top of the discard, so I can use Yatol. We draw three cards. Uh, we get baseball bat, ward of protection, we cleaver, and upkeep. We draw another winging it, and I would have, yeah, I'll I'll draw these again because I used the winging it, so I should have. Shuffled it into the deck. So the replacement cards are hiding spot, uh, say a prayers, and another say a prayer. So okay, that, that's decent. And upkeep, we draw the mob enforcer. Well, that's that's okay. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, we also got one resource at the end of the last upkeep. Okay, 
uh, we add another doom and come to call these uh, shapes in the mist search so we resolve uh, haunted abilities so we lose the resource and search card is not a swarm of rats oh no well i think uh, we're gonna need to start fighting all of these all of these enemies so so these rats are actually quite annoying to fight against now because of brown jenkin i think i will i think i will uh, yeah uh, actually i have the hiding spot so oh, oh damn i don't have any resources so if i take three damage yeah i, I have a soak uh, so i'll take one resource i'll take three damage so i take uh, one here, one here, and one on Yoto. As a first action, I play Hiding Spot, so these all gain aloof. And then we move, uh, so we have to spend one clue move to Walter Gilman's room. So it's four sharp location with one clue, draw three cards and take one horror, limit once per game. Discard the top two cards of the encounter that is the haunted ability. And now we will advance. So we swap the Walter Gilman's room with the set aside Kesaya's room. Taking its place, all tokens and cars at the former location are now at the new location. Remove each other location to play from the game. Choose an investigator to take control of the set aside black book asset. Shuffle both set aside copies of Strange Geometry deck. So there's a lot of setup, so I'll again pause the video and do the setup and we continue from there. Okay, so uh, we did the uh, mid scenario setup changes. So we removed all of the locations from play, as all of the enemies were at the location that was removed, they got discarded, so we luckily got rid of the rats and Brown Jenkin and also the mob enforcer. And we added the new encounter cards into the deck. We still have one action left, so uh, what we need to do now is try to find locations to find the witch hunts ruins location and spend five clues there so um, and yeah i also noted that i didn't test for this so i'll just do that now so i testing three versus five so yeah i failed it so it came into play as i already placed it and here um, I think I'll have. Yeah, I don't have a uh, book, but I found. I mean, uh, winging it in the deck, the discard, so I can't play that from the discard. I don't have even resources for that. So uh, I have the black book also in play. So I have a plus one to my will and knowledge. So I think I'll just try four versus book three to. Investigate. So, if I manage to investigate, I put one of the unknown places in play and move to it. It's a skull, it's a minus one. So I pass. I'll put the top card of uh, the unknown places location. Sorry about that, my dog is making some noises. So, just double checking. I may move to that location, so I'll I'll decide to move there. So it's the Moldy Halls earlier tonight. 
action you request aid from your past self. Each investigator at this location may refer one card from his or her discard pile into his or her hand. Each investigator who does so remembers that he or she meddled with the past. Well, I don't think I'll need to do that. Okay, well that is the turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. We draw a card, we get a baseball that we, we gain one resource. So that is the turn. Let's go to the next turn. We have a uh, three doom of six, and the encounter card is uh, centuries of secrets. Test will power five. For each point you fail by this card, the top card of the encounter deck. If the first treasure is discarded by this effect, deal one direct damage to your investigator and to each of your ally assets. Okay, well, I don't want to fail this, so I'll say your prayers to this. Actually, I can't. I still need one more horror on me. Okay. Well, Yattle might be dead from this. Mm. I'll discard one card from the top of my deck. Okay. Not helpful. Mm, yeah, so testing five versus uh, three versus five. I fail. So unfortunately, I take one direct damage. Luckily, we have the five of pentacles, but Yatol is also defeated. And oh yeah, uh, we fail by. Five, so I discard five cards. If there's a curse, then that happens. So two hexes so far, a curse, a curse, and the last card is a curse. So yeah, that happened. Okay, um, investigation phase. We move back to this location. Uh, we try to investigate. Minus two, we fail. So we discard cards until a hex is discarded. Well, we get X dimensional division. Test will power two. This test gains plus one difficult for the ten cards in the beast card. So there's over ten cards. So it's a uh, So willpower 3 test, so I'll test the uh, 3 versus 3, and we fail, so I have to discard an asset by control. That is un most unfortunate. I think we have to discard the fire axe, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, we might as well try again. Uh, minus two, we fail. Okay, same thing. Not, not going well. Really want to get one more. Sanity loss, so we investigate better. Uh, auto fail. Uh, I think we have to discard the black book, unfortunately. Nothing we can do about that. Last action, I'll just draw a card. Okay. Run for your life, not that helpful. Upkeep, we can re a resource and draw a card. We just need one more sanity loss to trigger everything. 
almost everything in my hand. Okay, uh, let's go to the next round. We add one Doom and the Encounter God is Realm of Torment. Yeah, so we have to resolve each Hunted ability. So we have to discard it until end of time. Okay, uh, we pay two resources to put the baseball bat into play. I I really can't. Yeah, I I move back here and actually let's back up a bit. I I won't play this. Just had an eye. Idea how to get something done. Mm, so we go here. We we draw it to the hand. Yes. Uh, so I'll get this. So I move. I'll take this black book back into my hand. And I remember I meddled with the past. And I'll gain one resource. Okay. So that is my turn. Upkeep, we draw a wing it and we gain one resource. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do next turn. We are at 5 or 6 Doom, Encounter card is pulled by the stars, put pulled by the stars in play in your threat area at the end of your turn, if you didn't move, did not move at least once during this turn, take 2 horror. Okay. I think I will just play the black book first action. Do we discard this? No. And I'll gain resources. So that's my turn. I didn't move, I take two horror. And... That is our turn. Oh yeah, uh, we needed to test this one. Last turn. So I was uh, 3 versus 3. I fail, but my this turn I will try again. Now I have 6 versus 3. Elder Sign. I'll heal 1 damage with the Elder Sign ability, and this is discarded. And there's no haunted ability here, so we can not resolve anything this turn. So that is my turn. And we go to upkeep, one resource and card. Okay, maybe we can get something done next turn. So that is the turn. Let's go to the next turn. So the agenda advances. So it's act two. So spawn the set aside Nahab and in Kesaya's room. So Nahab comes there. Shuffle boat sets out copies of Ghost Presence in the encounter deck. Find Brown Jenkin even if out of play and place it in a half screen location. So these get shuffled in here. And Brown Jenkin is somewhere here. Okay, so so Nahab gets plus one uh, plus X fight, and where X is the number of the current agenda, and it's agenda three. If Nahab is ready at the start of the enemy phase, we place one room on her. And Brown Jenkins is just Brown Jenkins, and all 
uh, non weakness enemies have plus three health. Okay, so I think we'll have to figure out something. Uh, I think we'll head in there and evade the hob. Okay. Uh, first action I'll play Trial by Fire. I'll pick. I'll pick uh, Knowledge, so I am now 10 Knowledge, uh, 11 Knowledge with the Black Book. First action I'll move here, Nahab engages us. I will evade, and I will evade using Run for your life, evading uh, 10 versus 3, minus 1. Nahab is evaded. Last action, I will investigate. So I am uh, 11 plus 3. I get a minus 4, so we succeed. We put a new location into play and move to it. We get the same Lem Gaul. Uh, 1692 test will power 3 if you succeed move to any revealed location mid once per okay wanted move to Kesaya's room okay one two here yeah. okay and that's our turn enemy base brown jenkin moves here we have five cards, we discard them and draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, we gain one card and one resource. That is that turn. And now up ready is all that. Okay, let's go to the next turn. And I moved, so that didn't trigger. Okay, this turn. I will investigate here. I will, uh, actually, I'll count gain one resource. Move, uh, investigate move. No, I don't have the actions. Okay, I'll just uh, investigate here by playing winging it. Uh, so, five versus, uh, six versus two. It's a zero. We get the clue. Second action, move here. And third action, we will evade the hub. Yeah, I just commit this because Brown Jenkin and these two Brown Jenkin will come in and discard our hand, so I'm invading seven versus three. It's a zero. Hob is evaded, so that Brown Jenkin moves in. Uh, we discard our hand, draw three cards. Get Meat Cleaver, Lucky, and Eater Sylvester. And that is that turn. And we draw a card, an up readies, engages us. And we gain one resource. Okay, that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, let's continue. And we add one Doom. And counter card is. Oh dear, again. Yeah, we have to discard the black book. Oh yeah. Uh, no. Uh, we discard cards from the top of the deck until an hex is discarded. Mm. Uh, we get. Devilled and it searches 
and we get a swarm of rats. Oh dear. Okay, let's see how we can deal with these. So, first things first, I think I will evade Nahab. So I'm evading 5 versus 3 plus 1 and we are evading the rats 5 versus 3 we evade the rats uh, we will investigate uh, 5 versus 3 again uh, 6 versus 3 It's a minus three, so we pass the test. Put another these locations into play. Move to it. There's one clue here. After you successfully investigate the physics classroom by two or more, discover a clue at another revealed location. Well, that's not really helpful. And Brown Jenkin moves after us. So that was our turn. Enemy phase. Uh, yeah, up in an end of enemy phase, we discard all of these. And we take one horror. Shuffle our discard. Three more cars so we get uh, until end of time. Well, that's nice to see. And <laughs> then, yeah, this will ready. Upkeep, upkeep, we draw one card. Another mobbing, well, mobbing force are again. Oh dear. Really didn't want to see that mobbing force. Well, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And we add another Doom, and counter card is Strange Geometry. Put Strange Geometry in play and move to it. After the investigation phase ends, discard Strange Geometry and move each investigator and enemy here to location with most clues. Each investigator who moved by this effect takes one damage and horror. If Strange e Geometry has no clues on it, move to any real location. Okay. The, unfortunately, the mob enforcer moves it with us. I think I will evade the mob enforcer. Six, uh, I mean, five versus. Three. I'll commit the ward. 6 versus 3 Elder Sign, I will heal one horror Just in case So the mob enforcer is evaded uh, We'll investigate, uh, we'll play The Until end of time Actually I won't I want to keep the horror up. I will investigate here for the last action. Zero, we get the clue. There should be a clue here, so we get that. And we move to any revealed location. I think we move to Salem, Gaul, and This gets removed, the mob enforcer gets discarded, or does it? Oh no, the mob enforcer moves to the location with the most clues. 
Okay. And uh, Brown Jenkin Hunts. Uh, yeah, this would have been here. Yeah. Actually, the Rats Hunt. And Hop Hunts. Oh dear. Totally missed that one. Okay, well, they hunt. Think I'm dead. So, rats hit me for one. Nahab hits me for one and two, so the end, until the end of time is discarded. Okay, not, not dead yet. And that is our turn. So, we got to upkeep. Voice of the messenger. I take physical trauma and one horror, uh, one damage. Mm. Okay. And uh, one resource. Okay, that's that turn. Let's go to the next one. We add another Doom and then counter card is Ghost of Presence. If not, Hob is in play, Ready Hair, Resolve Her, Hunter Fever, and she attacks its investigator at the location. Okay, well, I'm dead. Nothing I can do about that. So, Nahab hits me. Uh, I'll take uh, mental, mental Trauma. And... Yeah, I'll get defeated. Yeah, well, <laughs> this, uh, yeah, we dropped these clues here, it doesn't matter. We didn't get any victory points from there. Let's see the resolution. Uh, we proceed to resolution 1 because we were defeated. Each investigator earns the experience equal to the victory X value on each card in the victory display. It's zero. Uh, if Brown Jenkins was defeated at least once, we gain one bonus experience, so we get one. It's not far. Nahab was defeated. It wasn't, so we don't get checked the act deck. We are currently at act two. We lock under mementos, discovered Gilman's journal. I can add the black book into my deck. I will add it. It's okay. And we add one skull token to the chaos back. Okay, well, then we continue to the next scenario, which will be the wages of sin. Yeah, well, this was the uh, the secret name. Uh, it's a really tough scenario for true solo. It's a really long scenario. I haven't completed it in True Solo more than once. I've played it like four times and only once gotten to the end. Let's just out of curiosity see where the the witch house could have been two locations away, so we weren't even close. And uh, we still had plenty of time, but we just were overwhelmed with damage. Okay, well, uh, I don't really mind. Calvin likes to get some trauma going, and now we have two mental trauma and one physical trauma going into the pages of sin, so we get online a bit quicker. Uh, I think uh, with the one experience, I will be adding another, uh, what was it called, a uh, sharp vision into the deck. I, I think it worked pretty well. I just have to figure out what will I drop for it. But yeah, thanks for watching and until next time.